Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Arsenic and Espresso, a podcast where we rarely drink coffee, but we always talk about metal music. And today is day one of Underground Week. I'm so excited I'm about so this. I'm so hyped for this. Um, I'm so hyped. No, this is something that we've wanted to keep as a part of our channel. I mean forever um and it's just because there are so many good bands out there yes um such good quality stuff but they're just not getting the eyes or the ears mm -hmm. that they need to yeah um, that they deserve or that they should yeah. yeah exactly um so that's what this this week is all about um so make sure you hit subscribe so that you can see all of the content all of the bands mm -hmm. that we're going to post this week listen to all of them give them all a shot and if you like them, go to their own page, subscribe to them, and let mm -hmm. them know who sent you. Um, and then this will be part of our ongoing underground sound playlist. Um, mm -hmm. So if this is the first one of these that you guys are seeing, check out the whole playlist. See what else you might like. So what do we um, have today? Today we have a band called Idols and Illusions. They are from Saskatchewan, Canada. Um, and we will be reacting to the their single this dying breath okay um they currently have 270 subscribers on youtube and and they have about 4600 monthly listeners on spotify and this song right now has 12,875 views as of recording this nice um all right this one's this dying breath by idols and elite So right off the bat, super heavy. Mm -hmm. um, you notice the layered screams. So they have two two vocalists yeah. screaming there. Um, I like that sound already. Well, it gives a lot of depth. And like this is what we're talking about when we say like bands aren't just like like recording something on their cell phones and like uploading it to YouTube. Yeah. Like there is production quality here. There is like yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, um, it does not sound like a garage band. No. So um, yeah. Check them out if you like it already. We already hit the subscribe and like button, so let's keep going with it. Literally my favorite style of music. Give me those like super hardcore dirty vocals and then give me a beautiful melody. That yeah. is that is my perfect song. I, I yeah. mean any any song that does that, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Um, I know I paused that super fast into his clean vocals, but like already it just that was good. Some underground bands that I've found, you know, they might have those those great screams, but then the melody comes through and you're like, ah, it's lacking. It needs they work. need to find yeah. somebody to help this guy out, you yeah. know. Um, and and this is clean. I like this. Yeah, this is good.
fucking good. I can't even like, <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. Oh my God. This- I said this a bunch during our first set of underground reactions, but like, and I know we literally just finished saying it and we're just going to keep saying it. Like the talent these bands are bringing mm. is insane. This is incredible. Now this this gives me the same feeling that I felt when I saw what was what was when um when I heard um I remember sitting in my friend's house um and he put on Shadows Are Security by As I Lay Dying and I remember hearing the the mix of the heavy vocals mm-hmm. with the melody um and man it was just so clean and it just gives you that feeling of I don't know. I don't know what the feeling is, but this brings me back to that, yeah. which is so refreshing because so many of those bands that had that really crisp metalcore sound have gone away from it. Oh, like completely away mm-hmm. from it. God, it's almost at the end. Uh, the the really deep growling yeah. voice with the more high pitched like shrill scream. Yeah. But I like that the shrill scream is like the background voice, like the backup yeah. sound. Yeah, they brought that. that. Yeah, they mix that really well. Yeah, um, I feel like a lot was... of times it's opposite, and so that shrill scream will be in the forefront. They do that earlier in the song. Yeah, but like that's the more common way you hear the layering of the two, and the fact that they switch it here at the end is so. It's really good good oh my gosh yeah. but also this melody is so catchy i already want to sing along to it like i already yeah. want to like blast this in my car i will be blasting it on my way to work tomorrow morning did it like, make your playlist it 1000 percent has made my playlist all right let's finish it great way to end it too that oh my was gosh. wonderful yeah oh um, my god i want let's see oh because so this is their debut single too dang um, dang yeah. dang okay i said this during our first set of underground reactions but like i i never heard underground stuff that was this good yeah before yeah 
when when he first brought up like let's do some undergrounds let's do like an underground review i was like why because all of the underground stuff that i can remember hearing um just sounds like like uh like literal white noise from mm. television well it's just like you can't make out vocals you can't make mixing, out instruments right? yeah or no mixing yeah you know and yeah. the fact that musicians now like I think I said this in like word for word in our last set of reactions, but like now if you have a decent laptop, yeah, you can do everything. And I mean, case in point, Bring Me the Horizon just dropped an EP that was all mixed yeah. remotely. And like I'm, no I one mean, was together. Of course they have, you know, absolutely everything at their fingertips. But, but like still, like that's like like what I'm saying is It's this, possible. This this uh like like high level band suddenly wasn't able to record and mix in their studio right. that they've had access to for how many years. Right. And they had to go back to doing it this way. Yeah. Right. And so like they're doing it, it sounded great. And the fact that these underground bands with such small followings yeah. can put out high quality music is right. such a game changer. Yeah. I'm actually going to plug really quick. Um, so Scotty, um, the guy mm -hmm. who wrote our intro song, yes. um, he, uh, he writes music and he does production as well. Um, and so if there are any smaller bands out there that mm -hmm. need a producer, somebody to, to help them out with stuff, it, he's a phenomenal guy. Mm -hmm. um, check him out at least send him a dm something yeah. like that um, yeah he's incredibly talented incredible and he's quick too i mean the production level on the intro that he did for us and how quickly he got it to us was yeah. was just insane um yeah. it, was, it was cool you watched him on his twitch stream make it and everything so it was it, yeah. was it was really neat um but anyways back to the band um this is phenomenal um this 1000 percent is going on my playlist i cannot wait to hear what else they put out because this song was amazing. This was good. Um, I also didn't expect to, not just this band and not just this song, but I really didn't expect to uh, really fall in love with a bunch of underground music. Yeah. Um, because I am such a snob when it comes to what I listen to. I, yes. I mean, I don't, I say it all the time. I don't deviate. I listen to like my same five things and I don't change it up. And I'm quite content with that. And then with this underground reactions, I, first of all, was very apprehensive because I just didn't think quality would be there. Yeah. There might be talent, but the, the sound quality wouldn't be showcasing their talent. Yeah. Um, and that's clearly not the case with this. This band deserves a lot more than 4,600, uh, monthly listeners on Spotify. Yeah. And they deserve way more than 270 uh subscribers Subs? on Yeah, no that YouTube. that needs to change. Um they they definitely need to hit that 1k mark fast. For real. Um, For real. I mean, I know we still have a pretty small following right now. Um mm -hmm. but I know there's a handful of you guys that stick around to this part portion of the reactions. Um yeah. turn it up um yeah. in their comment section. Um yeah. Give yeah, them, blow them up because like they deserve, they deserve a huge following this for is this. Good. this. If is, this is just like the beginnings of what they can do, I think we're in for like, we're in for some pretty rad stuff. For sure. Are the lyrics there? Um, yes, they are. Okay. Let's go ahead and do I'm the lyrics. Hold them up here so I can. I was see them. really looking for a merch shop. Um, Facebook, Instagram. What is Song Whip? I don't even know. Stream oh, or buy on yeah. all platforms. Yeah. Okay, so the lyrics to This Dying Breath by Idols and Illusions. The song was debuted on YouTube on October 16th, 2020. And let's see, when was it? Yeah, so they debuted the song October 16th across the board. Same on Spotify. Yeah. Okay. Frozen in time, they seem to stand still. The fragments that you wasted, stuck in the light, you'll see what is real. A parallel that you twisted. You fall in line, losing hope that you cannot reclaim. You've lost your way. You can suffer alone in your shame. You'll take this to the grave. I sat idly by, watching your fate be fed by the lies. You wept time after time, but took no steps or even tried. I won't be the one to let you down. You suspended yourself. Now you're left to drown. I know that it's only begun. We come undone. Stuck in this hell that we made. Suffocate. I know we're at the end of a gun, nowhere to run, stuck in this hell that we made, suffocate. This dying breath bleeds the truth, 
so look down at your hands and see the proof. You're out of sight, slaving through another useless day, so find your way. We're broken, and you're the one to blame. When did we become so fragile? It makes me sick. I see your lies. I will never forget this. We're crippled now. We're falling down. The things you lost and will never have, and in the end, you burned it all for nothing. Now we're on fire. I hope that counts for something. Beautiful lyrics. Yeah. Um, this I just I, I have to bring up like when we when we went back through because um, we recently discovered Trivium. I know where mm -hmm. have we been, right? Um, but this right before the summer mm -hmm. um, is when we started listening to them. I mean, I guess when they uh, put out their last album mm -hmm. um, and went back through and listened to like their first stuff off of their mm -hmm. first CD. Um, and man, that was a freshman album. Mm -hmm. um and so comparing to what these guys have done with their debut single mm -hmm. to that um it is just it, it's miles ahead um yeah. i i'm so hopeful that this gets some traction that they see um some roots from their labor for this yeah. this is this is dope this is really really good I know. I really hope that there is a an EP or a full album release following this single. Um, this song, I've already added it to my playlist. So, I mean, this was a 10 out of 10 for me. The breakdowns were fire. The vocals were incredible. Mm -hmm. The melody was fantastic. The melody was so catchy. Yeah, it was. I also really liked, on a completely unrelated note, I liked the fact that in the lyric video, the words were big enough to see. So... <laughs> <laughs> I liked that the the font they chose Good on was, you for that. was yeah. clear enough to read. So yep. Yeah, right. I don't have anything else to say except wow. Yeah. Yeah. This was good. Yeah. This was good. Um links to this band, everything that uh all of their social media, everything will be linked in our description box. Like Josh said, please go um show them some love, like their music, subscribe to their channels, um, follow them on Spotify youtube all of it um you can also check out our other social medias in the description box and links to all of our other underground videos will be there as well so thank you so much for joining us uh we hope you found a new band that you like to listen to because we definitely did uh and we will just see you guys for the next one